Hi, this is Linda, and I usually read, like, some Native American news um, before bedtime, and I really haven't been keeping up with it, and I had no idea, no idea this was happening. Um, so the guy who owns um, Wounded Knee, um, or the, the site right adjacent to it, wants to sell it, but the price tag's really high, and um, the Lakota Nation being the poorest nation probably on the North American continent can't can't buy it so I'm gonna read you the article Lakota activists by wounded knee face protest um, land adjacent to the site let me just set this down of the 1890 Wounded Knee Massacre is currently for sale by landowner James, I can't pronounce his name, uh, Kozwanski, and he's not concerned about the possibility of protest if the land is developed. Now, I've heard that they could put, get this, an amusement park there, um, hotels, motels. This is a sacred site. I, I'm sorry. This really hurts me. The potential sale of one of the most historically notorious sites in South Dakota history could come with the state's biggest covet. Buy wounded knee and plan to build there and face the wrath of protesters. The message is being sent by Native American activists as Rapid City Men prepares to sell a 40-acre parcel at the site of Wounded Knee Massacre. I'll get fun of saying it that way. The property located in the heart of the Pine Ridge Reservation is in the vicinity where 300 Native Americans were killed by the U.S. military on December 29, 1890. <clears throat> Tensions have been simmering in Indian country ever since the landowner, James Kowinski, 75, announced his plan to sell the land two months ago. Kowinski offered to sell the parcel and another in Porcupine Butte to the o Ogala Lakota Nation for $4.9 million. If they didn't buy it before May 1st, he warned he would sell it to the highest bidder. Tribal officials have consistently scorned the price and the deadline, which they view as bordering on extortion. The properties have combined value of about $14,000, according to an appraisal by Shannon County. Now, with the May 1st deadline... It's already passed, um, so they're gonna they're gonna sell Wounded Knee, and I read some um, of the comments. Not on this side. I I don't even dare go read some of the comments. Um, most of the people say uh, now, not the Native Americans. But most of the white people say, oh, sell it. Who cares? We beat you anyway. I read this on another site, so I couldn't even do that article. Um, and uh, all you'll do is build a casino on it. If they didn't know that the Lakota Nation was one of the poorest, and I, I mean, this just breaks my heart. Um, I don't know what to say. Um I mean, th there's been a lot of uh, discrimination lately against, against Native Americans. Um, so, um, you know, this is, this is, I, I'm, I'm from an Iroquois nation, and, and this is very sad to me because um, <clears throat> this is sacred land. I mean, it's, it's a, it, it would be like, how do I say this? It would be like ripping up um, one of the founding fathers' graves and, and putting an amusement park on it. I mean, you know, and that's what they want to do. I mean, someone said, uh, you Indians, I read one comment where it says, you Indians lost, face it, you're going away, you're dying off, who gives a shit? Well, I give a shit. I'm half Native American, and I walk the red road. So, um, I just wanted to point this out that Wounded Knee will probably be an amusement park and this guy could care less. And, and, and I think that this is tragically sad. So we'll be erasing more history. I'm, I'm sure soon 
uh, Native Americans will, will be just a myth. And I hate to say that laughing, but that's the way it's looking by the way they're taking the children away and pushing abortions and, and the women are being sterilized. And I have this funny feeling that one day there will be no more Native Americans. And that is very sad. Well, love and peace to everyone. Bye.